Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to Cosmic Essence Education. My name is Maitre and in this video we will be covering the types of function. This is part 1 of the video because there are a lot of functions that we want to discuss. So let's continue and let's get started. Ok, so let's start. The first type of function that we are seeing is the identity function. If I define a function f from the set r to r such that y is equal to x where x belongs to the set of real numbers, this type of function is known as the identity function. The graph of this function is a straight line passing through the origin and is extending both sides. Now this is known as an identity function because the dependent variable is always equal to the independent variable. So this straight line extends both sides. So if we look at the domain of this function, it is defined for all values, all real values of x. So the domain of this function is that is the set of real numbers and if we look at the graph we can see that the value of y is ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity so the range of this function is the set of real numbers as well this can also be written as y belongs to the open interval set from minus infinity to plus infinity this is our identity function. The second type of function is the constant function. Let us define a function f from the set of real numbers to the set of real numbers such that y is equal to c for all x belonging to real numbers. This is known as a constant function because the dependent variable is independent of x. It does not depend on x at all. Okay, y is always equal to c which is a constant. And it does not depend on the value of x. So the graph of this function is a straight line parallel to the x-axis. So say c is this, then for all real values of x, the value of y is always c. So this is the graph of the function. Now we can see that it is defined for all real numbers, so the domain of this function is the set of real numbers and the range. Now range, if we look at it, for all real numbers the image is always the constant c. So the range is only the c constant. This is the range of the constant function. Let's look at the third type of function. The third type of function is the polynomial function. So let us define a function f from the set of r to the set of r such that y is equal to a0 into x to the power n plus a1 into x to the power n minus 1 and so on till a n minus 1 into x plus a n which is the polynomial expression where the power n belongs to the whole numbers that means the values of n could only be 
numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And the coefficients a0, a1, a2 and so on up till an all belong to real numbers. This type of function is known as the polynomial function. The polynomial function is defined for all real numbers. So the domain of this type of function is the set of real numbers. Now, the range of a polynomial function will depend on the function itself. Okay, So there's no fixed range for this kind of function. It will depend on what kind of function we are taking. Let's take an example. For example, suppose I'm defining a function f from r to r such that y is equal to x square. Now, the graph of this function is a parabola facing upwards. The parabola. The domain of this function is the set of real numbers. And now if we look at it, the range. The function is going from 0, which is the vertex of the parabola, all the way up till plus infinity. So the range of this function is the set of closed interval 0 to infinity, which is also written as y is greater than or equal to 0. If I take a different type of function, say I take y is equal to x cube this time, again a polynomial function, of course, the graph of this function is like this. This is a cubic polynomial function and the graph is like this. Now if we look at it, it is defined for all real numbers. So the domain is r and now the function is going from minus infinity to plus infinity. So the range of this function is the set of real numbers. That is, it can also be written as y belongs to minus infinity to infinity. So this is the polynomial function. If we look at the fourth function, fourth function, which is rational function. Fourth type of function, I mean, the rational function. So if I define a function of the form y is equal to p of x upon q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions, then this type of function is known as a rational function. Okay, The domain of this function is the set of real numbers minus all those elements for which q of x is equal to 0. So the set of real numbers, but we will eliminate or we will remove those val values for which the denominator is equal to 0 because otherwise the function will not be defined there. And the range of this function is also, it also depends on the function. So, the form where y is equal to p of x upon q of x is known as a rational function where p of x and q of x both are polynomial functions. Domain is the set of real numbers excluding those values for which the denominator is 0 and the range depends on the function. So, it varies from function to function. Okay, This is rational functions.
Okay, so this is the first video for the types of functions. We looked at constant function, identity function, polynomial function and rational functions. Now, the second part will have more types of functions. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and keep watching the videos. Thank you.